Hey Toolnuts, I'm Doug with Toolnut.com. Today we're going to be unboxing the Rollair Super Compact Ultra Quiet AB5 Trim Compressor. So Rollair, all they pretty much do is make compressors, uh, high-end compressors, uh, but at a fair price. Uh, all those can be seen at Toolnut.com. They do anywhere from like the super portable compact compressors like this all the way up to stationary shop compressors. Again, all available on our site. You can check those out there. Today, we're gonna to be going over this really compact trim compressor. So 27 pounds. This is a one gallon tank, half a horsepower. And you can see just really Nicely made, everything is protected in this roll cage here. Uh, on that, we turn around to the back here, this is a dual piston. So this will go up to 125 PSI max. This produces 1.1 CFM at 90. Anything I don't cover here also, by the way, uh, you can see the rest of the specs on our website. We will be starting this up in a minute. And it looks like the only thing out of box that we have to do is uh, plug it in, basically. Add air hose, you don't get the air hose here. I did uh, bring this to just show. Uh, they make some really good hoses also that we have available on the site in both uh, quarter inch and three eighths. Uh, this does come with a standard quarter inch coupler fitting on that. Uh, with that, again, this can be switched out too if you ever uh, use something different though too. You would just be able to unscrew this and then use the fitting uh, that you have uh, but this is the most common. This is pretty much what most portable compressors come with uh, when they ship. Uh, so the cord wrap here, nice little Velcro piece, stays on the cord. You also do have your cord wrap though on the unit. It's your on off switch there. Has nice heavy rubber feet, help with the vibration on it. And so it's not kind of bouncing around, moving around while it's operating. 59 decibels which is great. Roll Air was probably the first compressor line that we started selling years ago that had super quiet compressors. This is just yet another one they've added to the line of compressors uh, that they have. Um, and then you've seen other brands start uh, replicating that and making them also on that. Uh, air filter is already installed on this, so we don't have to do that. Always check this if you're ever have an issue where it's not producing air, um, it's not increasing in the tank pressure, check that. Either something's crimped or something else is going on, something's wrong with the piston, but a lot of time it's the filter um, on that. This top t comes off, there's a filter in there, make sure it's clear. Maybe there's wood dust or some other uh, dust that got in there from the air and is restricting the airflow. This is where all the air gets taken in to the pump to then uh, go into the tank and then to your gun. So you have both gauges here. This is gonna show your tank pressure. Again, this goes up to 125 PSI. Uh, and then this is what's gonna go uh, to your tool that you have connected. So you can you know, plus or minus this, whatever your tool requires. Uh, most nail guns, trim guns, are gonna operate anywhere between 90 and 125 PSI, depending on uh, the brand on that. Um, this, again, trim. So pin nailer, trim, brad nailers, finish guns is primarily what you're gonna use this for. In a pinch, if you had to do a handful of framing nails, could you connect a framing nailer to it? Yes. You're not gonna be bump firing it though. So just uh, in a pinch, it'll work. But like I said, primarily it's only for trim and finish. Let's plug this in and cycle it up. So recovery rate on this is about 35 seconds. To fill this is about a minute and a half. But as you can see, as I'm talking here, super quiet. Uh, hopefully it comes off uh, in the video as that too. Sometimes sound on stuff doesn't always come across the best until you're really in front of it. Um, sometimes just to show though what the filter also does, does make a difference on the sound, even with the filter off of it. Helps reduce that too. Again, always make sure and check that 
that is clear on that. And then you can see we're starting to fill here. This is where you would be to set your pressure. So right now I'm at 60. If I increase it, you can kind of just set it. It'll stop and that's where it's gonna remain. Plug in your tool and you're ready to go. Again, for this and any of the specs, or if you wanna order this, check it out now at toolnut.com.